Mrs. Budwell. I'm a second grade teacher, and today I'm going to take you on a trip to India. You'll be able to hear a little bit about some of the culture and some beautiful clothes that are worn. I'm going to read to you, my Dadama wears a sari. This is written by Kashmira Sheath and illustrated by Yoshiko Jagi. My Dadama wears a sari. Written by Kashmira Sheath, illustrated by Yoshiko Jeki. Every day, my Dadama wears saris. Saris as bright and cheerful as a bouquet of flowers. She wears them in the morning. She wears them in the evening. She wears them around the house. She wears them around the town. She wears them made out of cotton. She wears them made out of silk. Sometimes she tucks the palu, the end of her sari, tightly. And sometimes she lets it dance in the breeze. Your saris are beautiful, Dadama, I say one day. But don't you get tired of wearing them? Never, Rupa, Dadama says. Don't you ever want to wear a gray skirt and a red blouse with round buttons like Mommy does? I ask. Or a green dress like me? I never do, Dadama says. What about pants with pockets and a shirt with a scarf around your neck? Don't you ever feel like wearing them? I, I say. Honestly, Dadama answers, I never thought about it. Why not? I want to know. Because a sari is a sari, and I can do so much with it, she says. What can you do with a sari? I ask. Suppose you and I are sitting out on the porch and it gets hot, Dadama says. Then we can keep cool. She begins to fan the two of us with the end of her sari. Oh, I say, that's nice. If we go to the beach and collect seashells, we can wrap the shells in my sari, Dadama says. Like this? I ask. I made a pouch with the end of her sari. Yes, Dadama answers. What else? I ask. Suppose we go for a walk and it begins to sprinkle, Dadama says. I can make an umbrella. And right then, she covers both of our, our heads with her sari. I like the feel of it, light and cool as a breeze. I know what else you can do with your sari, Dadama, I tell her. What else? She asks. Remember the jeer jungle you told me about? The one you went to when you were a little girl? With all the lions, leopards, and snakes? Of course I do, Dadama says. Imagine we are in the jeer jungle, I say. She closes her eyes and puts her hands over them. I see the deep, dark jungle, she says. When we go in the jungle, you have to make sure to wear your leopard print sari, I say. Then you can wrap me up in it too, so no animal will attack us. I'll wrap you up, Dadama promises. And then if we are caught in a storm and all we can find is some muddy water, then we can strain it through your, through your palu, I go on. Then we will have clean water to drink. I suppose so, Dadama says, wrinkling her nose. She doesn't like that idea very much. If I slip and scrape my knee in the jungle, you can tear away a piece of your sari and tie a bandage on me, I say. I sure can, Dadama says. And if you forget to hug me, Dadama, I can tie a knot in your sari to remind you, I say. Just then, my little sister Nea comes to find me. Rupa, Rupa, where are you? She calls. I decided to play a game with Nea. Quickly, I cover myself with Dadama's sari. While I'm hiding under there, I make a secret knot in the corner of the, her palu. That way, Dadama will remember to give me a hug. I found you, Rupa, Nea says. My turn to hide. 
I come out and Nea hides under the palu. Dadama, did your Dadama wear a sari too? I ask. Yes, Dadama answers. And so did my Dadama's Dadama. Nea pokes her head out. When I grow up, will you make me a sari? She asks. You and Ro Ro Rupa can wear my saris, Dadama says. But they won't fit, Nea says. She looks sad. A sari can fit anyone, Dadama tells her. Come with me. We all go to Dadama's room. Dadama takes out a bright yellow sari from her closet. Unfold this, she says. Nea and I unfold and unfold and unfold some more. But this is just a lot of cloth, I say, shaking my head. That's right, Dadama says. A sari is a long piece of material that you wrap around yourself in a special way. Can you show us more saris? I ask. More saris, more saris! Nea squeals. Dadama takes out many saris. Some are soft and some are stiff. Some are bright and some are light. Some are fancy and some are plain. Which one is your favorite, Dadama? I ask. <clears throat> I like all of them, Dadama says, but I have three special saris. Dadama takes, <clears throat> takes out a pale yellow sari with a rainbow colored polka dots. This one is half a, a half sari. It's special because it was my first sari, she tells us. Next, she picks up a pink sari as soft as Nea's cheeks. I wore this sari on the plane when I came from India to America, she says. Then Dadama shows Nea and me a sari that shimmers. It is red with a palu stitched in gold. This is my wedding sari, she whispers. It's, it is so beautiful, I say. It is indeed, Dadama agrees. Can you show us how to wrap a sari? I ask. I want sari, I want sari, Nea says, tugging at Dadama's palu. Dadama puts the sari with polka dots on Nea and the soft pink one on me. My two favorite saris for my two granddaughters, Dadama says. Her smile fills her face like a big round moon fills, fills the sky. Dressed in our saris, all three of us stand in front of the mirror. Dadama draws her sari over her head, making a snug frame around her face. Nea and I do the same. Our eyes ring, twinkle in the mirror like the golden threads of Dadama's wedding palu. We look like you, Dadama, I say. Yes, she says, taking Nea, in, Nea and me in her arms. Very much so. I hug Dadama back. Then I untie the secret knot I made in her sari. The end.